Good morning, everyone. Today I have a fun new workout for us to do called the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 workout. So what this means is we have five different sections and it actually is going by minutes. So we're gonna start with five minutes of hard work followed by rest, four minutes of work, rest, three minutes, two minutes, one minute, one minute. <laughs> so the first five minutes of our workout today is going to be cardio. So we're just gonna get it done and over with. So five minutes of cardio straight. There's five different exercises. So each cardio section will be one minute. Um, our exercises for cardio, our first one is high knees. So high knees, just driving them nice and high. All right, I want you to try to keep your hands up in the air. So modified, you're just stepping high intensity. It's more of a quick switch like this. Our second exercise is jumping jacks. So for low intensity, we're going to just tap out and in. High intensity, you're going out and in, both feet at the same time. Our third exercise is switch kicks. So face on view, you're gonna lean slightly back and then just kick opposite like this. If you're high intensity, you're quick switching. From the side, a switch kick, you're leaning back, kicking out in front. Again, high intensity is quick, quick, quick. All right, and then finally, we have jump ropes or shadow jumps. So you're just gonna stay in place, but your arms are going to move as if you had a jump rope in your hand, okay? And then our last cardio exercise is just running in place. So staying in the same spot, Hands are moving by our side, running in place. So like I said, we have five minutes of cardio and then a break. And during the break, which is one minute, I will introduce you to what we'll be doing in the four minute set. So we are gonna start here with five minutes of cardio. Here we go. Starting with high knees in four, three, two, one. So again, high knees, hands are in the air for everyone. Low intensity. Driving those knees up, nice and high. High intensity, you're quickly switching back and forth. Okay, try to do, if you're gonna go high intensity, try to do it the whole minute. All right, but always have those hands up. Keep it going here. And as usual, I cannot play music, so you just have to listen to me speak, which I know you all love, that's why you keep coming back. But obviously, play some music. Get yourself pumped up. Here we go. 20 seconds of high knees left. Keep going. Good job, you guys. Here we go. 15 seconds left. Good. Here we go. Keep those knees high, core tight. In five seconds, we're going to go into jumping jacks. Here we go. Three, two, one, jack. So low intensity. You're here with me, tapping out to the side. High intensity, both legs are coming in and out at the same time. All right, do what you can, but keep moving. Hands are coming up and down, low intensity, we're tapping out to the side. Hands should still be raising. Good, great job, you guys. Here we go, you're halfway. Remember, if you started with high intensity with the jacks, I want you to try to keep that intensity the whole time. Remember, nice full breaths here. Good job, you guys. Here we go, 15 seconds left, keep pushing. Good, you guys got this, keep moving. All right, our next exercise is those switch kicks. In three, two, one, switch kick. So we're leaning back to engage that core, kicking out in front. Again, this is low intensity. The stepping kick, high intensity. You're quickly, as soon as those feet touch, you're switching. But again, if you start with high intensity, I want you to try to keep that intensity the whole time. As usual during the workouts, I'm gonna stick with that modified group. Those of you that can do the high intensity, go get it. You can do it, push yourselves, 1% better every day. Here we go, 25 seconds left. Try to keep those hands up by your face. Protect your face, kick those legs. The farther you lean back, the more engaged your core is. 
Woo. Great job, you guys. We're already halfway through our five minute mark. Woo. Here we go. In five seconds, we're going to our shadow jump ropes. In three, two, one, jump rope. All right, here we go. You can take this nice and slow, but no matter what, your arm should be moving as if you're jumping a rope. If the jumping is too much, you can just do a calf raise. All right, here we go. Woo! Nice little breaths. Keep that heart rate high. Heart rate's high, you guys, keep going. And as usual, I forget to do my watch, so I'm gonna do this whole workout without any credit. Oh well, still moving. Here we go. 25 seconds left. Then we have one little bit of cardio. And then we have a rest. So stick with me. We're almost there. Woo. Woo. Here we go. 10 seconds left. And then we have run in place. Keep moving. My calves are on fire. Woo. Three, two, one. Run in place. All right. So arms are by our side. They're pumping. Our legs should be coming off the ground. Even if you're just fast walking in place, that's fine. Your heart rate is still up. You're still working hard. And you're working harder than the people that are sitting on a couch. So you go. Okay, here we go. We have 35 seconds left before we have a one minute break. Whew. Here we go. All right, let's see. We got 25 seconds left. Let's see if you can pick up that pace in place. All right, give it a try. If it doesn't work, you can always drop down. But I want you to push yourself because you can do it and I know you can. Here we go, 15 seconds. Woo! Great job, you guys, here we go. We're eight seconds away from a one minute break. Eight seconds, you can do that. Here we go, three, two, one, rest. You now have a one minute break. So take this time to stretch, grab some water like I'm gonna do and during this time, I'm going to explain to you what our four minute section looks like. Woo. All right, you guys. So we have two exercises that we're going to be doing during this minute. So we're gonna start with a reverse and curtsy lunge with our left foot. So our left leg is going to come back, we come up and then our left leg is gonna go into a curtsy lunge. So we're really gonna burn out that glute. Once the minute of that is up, we're gonna go down into mountain climbers. All right, so mountain climbers, bringing those knees in nice and quick. All right, that's the second minute. The third minute, we're doing reverse lunge, curtsy lunge with our right. So the right leg is gonna come back, middle, curtsy, middle. And then of course the fourth minute, we go down for our mountain climbers. So. Let me readjust my clock here. You're gonna get a couple extra seconds rest. So take advantage. Again, if you're drinking water, little sips, don't take a big gulp on me. Here we go. All right. So again, we're gonna start with our reverse curtsy lunge combo with our left side. All right, and we're gonna start that here in three, two, one. Begin, so left leg, reverse lunge, middle, curtsy, middle. Okay, we're gonna keep alternating between these two varieties of lunges. Woo, popped up too much. Okay, we really wanna power through our right leg here. So by the end of this, your right leg should be burning. Okay, and make sure when we step back, both for the curtsy and the lunge, we're taking a nice big step so that knee stays behind our toes. Here we go, great job, you guys. You're already over halfway. Okay, if you can go quicker than me, great job. Go quicker than me. This is the pace I'm teaching at for today's lesson. Great job. Remember, nice full breaths. Chest is up high. Power through that right leg. Good. Here we go. Less than 10. We're going down for mountain climbers here. In three, two, one. Down for mountain climbers. Here we go. One minute of mountain climbers. Butt stays down. Drive that knee to the chest. All right, the quicker you go, the more cardio it's going to be. The slower you go, the more of an abdominal workout it's going to be. Whew. Here we go. 
Great job, you guys. Stick with it. You're halfway, 30 seconds in, 30 seconds left, then we're coming back up for the reverse curtsy with our right leg. Whew. So anytime you need to take a break, stretch out the back on a downward dog, and then we're hopping right back into it. Good, here we go. 10 seconds left. Keep climbing here. You got it. Good, come on up. We're going into a reverse lunge here. So right leg goes into reverse lunge, up, curtsy lunge, up. Again, nice big steps back to keep that knee behind the toe. And you'll notice with the reverse lunge, my leg is going directly behind me. And with the curtsy lunge, it's coming, crossing behind that left and back. Whoo, a little tipsy turvy there. Good. Really make sure you're powering through that left glute. Push up through the left. Like I said, your booty should be burning by now. You're already over halfway here. Whew. Great job. Here we go. Less than 20 seconds here, and then we're back down for mountain climbers. And that's the end of our four minute round. Here we go. Five seconds left. One more curtsy. Good, here we go. Final minute, mountain climbers. We're down and at it. Whoo, you guys, I'm tired. Good, remember, the faster you go, the more cardio it is. Slower, it's more abdominal. Whew. Here we go, almost there. Keep moving. Nice, full, deep breaths. You're 30 seconds in, almost done. 30 seconds of work and you have a minute rest. You guys have done it once for me already. You're gonna keep moving here. Again, anytime you need a rest, downward dog, right back into it. Here we go, less than 10. Keep moving, finish here, five. Three, two, one, rest. All right, you guys, that was the end of your four minute round. We're gonna take a minute break and then we're gonna jump into round number three. So our three minute round. I'm going to take a quick drink and then I'll explain to you what we are doing. All right, gang, here we go. So our three minute round is not necessarily by time, but reps. So what you're going to do, you're going to do 10 push-ups. So push-ups modified, we're on our knees, we're coming down and up. High intensity, we're on our toes and coming down and up. Once you've completed 10 push-ups, you're going into 12, 15 tricep dips. So tricep dips are going to be here, and we're just going to bend our elbows, butt touches the ground. If that's too much for your shoulders, I want you to just sit there and touch your shoulder blades 15 times. All right, so higher intensity is definitely going to be more of that crab walk position and dipping low intensity, you're seated, touching the shoulder blades, pushing those hands up. So again, this isn't for a set minute or anything. You're just going to do it by reps for three minutes total. So I'll keep you posted as where we're at for time, but you keep track of the amount of reps you're doing in your head. So again, I'm giving you a little bit of whoop, a little bit of extra time. All right. So again, three minutes on the clock here. Let me get my timer here. Extra, extra time. So starting with those 10 push-ups here in four, three, two, one. 10 push-ups. One, two, three. There's five. Eight, nine, ten. Then we flip over. We have fifteen dips or try or shoulder taps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's ten. Four. 
13, 15. Right away, we flip back over to push-ups. Here we go, you guys. Whew. This one's really gonna burn out those arms. There's five. Again, you can go faster or slower. Just remember, 10 push-ups, 15 dips or shoulder taps. And last one. I'm gonna do shoulder taps for this round. So again, shoulder taps or dips. We're here 15 times. Two, three, five, eight, 11. Here we go, one more. Great job, back over to push-ups. Time-wise, you're already halfway through. You're over halfway through, actually. So keep pushing here. You got it. Here's seven. Here we go, here's 10. Again, high intensity. You're doing dips like this. Low intensity, you're here with me. Touch your shoulders. Two. Good, here's eight, keep going. Five more. Good, one more here. Back to push-ups, you guys. We have 30 seconds left. I'll try to get some push-ups in here. And then we have a rest. Whew, my arms are burning. Here's five, six, Last one, here we go. Triceps, we're not done. We got 15 seconds left. Here's five, eight, 12, and rest. All right, you guys, you have a minute rest here. So again, grab some water, stretch it out. I don't know about you, you guys, but my arms are burning after that. So, I'm gonna grab my quick drink. Here we go. All right, so, obviously next we have our two minute section. So for our two minute section today, we are going to do 30 seconds of a regular squat. So we're gonna stand up, and again, our squat, our legs are wider than our shoulders, feet are pointed forward or to the side if you have bad knees, and our butt comes down, and we come up, so side view of our squat. Our legs are wide, our butt comes down, and chest stays up, we pop up. Then, we're going to do a sumo squat. So you're gonna take your legs extra wide, and same thing, squat, squeeze your butt and inner thighs on the way up to really target the inner thigh. Then, for the next 30 seconds, we're gonna do a squat with a leg lift with our left. So we'll do a squat, leg lift, our left. Squat, leg lift left, and then to finish off our two minutes, we're gonna squat, leg lift right. Squat, leg lift right. So really targeting the booty here, working the quads, hammies, engaging our core, because we wanna stay nice and tall, chest up high. So again, let me set my watch, get a few extra seconds here, take a breather, stretch it out, mentally prepare for the two minutes of squatting you're gonna do. All right, here we go. Two minutes is coming up. Oh, my heart rate is pounding, you guys. I'm getting a good workout and hopefully you are all too. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with our regular squat for 30 seconds. Ready and begin. 30 seconds, regular squat. We wanna to try to get those elbows to our legs. If you can't, that's not a big deal. We'll get there, but remember, the butt should be pushing back. Weight should be all on your heels. So you should be able to lift your toes when you're squatting. Obviously for balance purposes, keep them on the ground, but just think of that. And again, you'll notice my chest is staying high. I'm not bending down, okay? Chest is high, lowering with that. Good, now sumo squats. Here we go, next 30 seconds. Like this are extra wide. 
We're squeezing our inner thigh when we come up. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the inner thigh. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for 30 seconds. Here we go. Great job, you guys. Keep pushing. Keep going. Remember that butt gets pushed back for 10 more seconds. And then we have our regular squat, raising our left leg. Here we go, here we go. Back to regular squat. Squat, raise your left leg. Squat, raise your left leg, okay? If you can go faster, you go faster. If you need to go slower, you go slower. I'm here for you to watch, give you some guidance, occupy your mind for a couple minutes. Good, here we go. You got 10 seconds left, and then we're gonna squat, raise our right leg. Here we go. Whew. Here we go, squat, raise the right leg. Squat, right leg. Your last 30 seconds of this round. Great job, you guys. Here we go. Remember, chest is up high. I'll go this way. Chest is high, leg comes up. Butt gets pushed back. Squeeze those glutes. Here we go. You got three, two, one, rest. All right, you guys. Your final minute of this five, four, three, two, one workout. I bet you can't guess what it is. We're gonna do a one minute plank. Yay! So remember with our plank, we have a lot of variations for this, all right? You can do low intensity, modified, just a plank from your knees, okay? You can also do plank from your knees and on your elbows. Higher intensity, you can do plank on your toes, plank on your toes, on your elbows. But no matter what kind of a plank you're in, I need you to keep your spine in a line. So don't drop your head, don't lift your butt up in the air, we want it straight as a board, okay? So, give you a couple seconds here, then we have a one minute plank, we're gonna rest for one minute, and we're gonna do this all over again. Great, right? Okay, here we go. I'm going to set my clock for one minute, just a one minute plank, you guys. That's all we gotta do, and I know you can do it, okay? So, get in whatever position you like. I'm gonna say, with our modified gang here. So again, modifying, I'm gonna go from my knees with my arms straight. You do whatever works best for you. So here we go. Plank here in three, two, one, and begin. Here we go. Just 60 seconds of work. Remember, butt is down. Oh, I said my knees. So when we're modified, butt is down, butt is down. Here we go. Engage that core. Don't let your hips drop. Okay, the only thing that should be touching is your knees and wherever you're going, whether that's your elbows or your hands. With your hands, you wanna make sure that your wrists are underneath if you're in that high plank position. If you're in the low plank like I am, your elbows should be underneath your shoulders. Stack the joints, take some pressure off there. And you're already over halfway, guys. We have 20 seconds left. Remember to keep breathing, sing a happy song, keep that Spine in a straight line here for 15 seconds. And then you get a one minute break and we're gonna start all over again. Woohoo! Here we go, gang. Great job, five seconds left. Keep it here with me for four, three, two, one, rest. All right, you guys. Great first round, right? We're gonna do that again. Get some sweat really flowing here. I'm finally gonna give myself some credit and I'm actually going to put this on my watch because I feel like I worked really hard that round. <laughs> so again, five, four, three, two, one. That's what we're doing here. The second time through, I really want you guys to push yourselves. So whether that means that you are just gonna work on having better form, great. You had good form and you wanna get more reps, perfect. Whatever it is that you define as pushing yourself is what I want you to do for this next section. So, a couple more seconds rest here. I'll get my clock going, and we're gonna start back up with our five minute cardio. So we're gonna come on up. And again, our cardio, we have high knees, jumping jacks, which I'll show modifications for all of these, switch kicks, jump rope, and run in place. So, 
one more round of cardio and we're done, you guys. And who really enjoys cardio? If you do, put a like in the comments because I'm super proud of you. <laughs> okay. So starting here, our five minutes of cardio, one minute rest after our round. We're gonna start here with high knees in three, two, one. High knees, here we go. Nah, 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 nah. Good, great job, you guys. Here we go. High knees, keep moving here. Again, high intensity, here's quick switches. Quick switch for high intensity. Everyone is gonna have their hands in the air though. All right, again, I stick with that modified gang. I show you the high intensity. You pick what you can do. If you start with high intensity though, I really want you to try to stick with that, okay? Whew, I am dripping sweat. So hot. <laughs> Great job, here we go. You're halfway, almost there. Keep those knees up high, really drive the knees, keep that core tight. Okay, we don't wanna push our butt, or our gut forward or push our butt back. We want a nice stable core for this. Here we go, 15 seconds. And you never have to do high knees in this video again. Woo, here we go. Four, three, two, one, rest. All right, right away, we're going into jumping jacks. So, modified is here. One leg at a time, out to the side, high intensity, both legs at the same time. Everyone's hands are up in the air. Again, I'm with the modified crew, tapping it out. Whew, gotta check my clock periodically, so don't mind me. Good, great job, here we go. You got this, keep moving. Remember, if you're high intensity, you can dig deep and you can do it the whole time. All right? I only want you to drop down if you really feel like you just are out of tank in the gas or out of gas in the tank. <laughs> Whoopsies. Here we go. 15 seconds left. I'm so tired. I'm forgetting what I'm saying. <laughs> Great job. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, switch kicks, arms are up, we're leaning back, kicking forward. So again, side view, lean back, low intensity, you're kicking out, high intensity, quick switch. All right, your legs don't need to go up as high, but you're gonna really feel it with that cardio. Again, low intensity, we're here. Again, you do not need to get your legs up as high, go as high as you can. Just keep those arms up. You're halfway. Great job, you guys. 20 seconds left. The calf raise is just taking a little bit of pressure of that bouncing sensation off your knees. Whew. But no matter what, everyone's hands are rotating. There we go. Great job, you guys. Great job. Here we go. 20 seconds left. Remember, high intensity, you're here. High intensity is the jump. Low intensity is a calf raise. I don't know if you can really tell that I'm calf raising, but my calves are burning right now. <laughs> so hopefully you're in that same boat too. Everyone's arms are moving here. Three, two, one, run in place. Your last bit of cardio, you guys, here we go. Arms are swinging by our side. Even if you need to run forward, run backwards, you're kind of like me and you're kind of all over the place. We just want to keep those arms and legs moving here for 45 seconds. Here we go. You have a one minute break after this. And we're gonna head into our lower body abs 
portion, the four minute round. All right, here we go. You're halfway. You have 30 seconds left of cardio, and then we got a nice long break. You can grab some water. You can crank up the tunes. You can mute me and just go up by what I'm doing. Whatever floats your boat for another 15 seconds. Remember those arms are by your side and moving. Those feet should be coming up off the floor. Even if you are just doing a fast walk in place for low intensity, that's fine. Here we go. Three, two, one. One minute break. Great job, you guys. So proud of you. This workout is so different from anything we normally do. So that alone is challenging, but it also is really fun to switch it up. So here we go. We're into our one minute break. I'm going to grab a drink, quick, quick drink of water, and then I'll remind you of what we're doing in our four minute round. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so for our four minute round, we have one minute of reverse lunge, curtsy lunge with our left leg. So that means our left leg is gonna come back, middle, back to the side and middle. Really gonna burn out that right glute. Then we go down to the ground for one minute of mountain climbers. Again, slow climbers is gonna target more of those abdominals. Fast climbers are gonna be more cardio. You can pick, you can switch it up, whatever you choose to do. And then again, the third minute, we're gonna do our reverse lunge, curtsy lunge with our right leg going back, so the left leg will stay, and then right leg will come back and to the side. And then again, to wrap up the round, we go down for mountain climbers. So, let me, as usual, adjust my time here. Here we go. All right, so we're going to start with <clears throat> reverse curtsy lunge with our left leg. So right leg stays in place. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one. Here we go. Left leg comes back, middle, behind, middle. Again, we want to make sure that our knee is behind our toes, our chest is nice and tall, and we're powering up through that right leg. All the power should be through this leg. Good. Great job. Remember, nice big steps back. Really power through that right leg. That stationary leg is what's doing all the work right now. Good. Nice big steps. Awesome job, you guys. Here we go. 30 seconds left. Again, if you can go quicker, go quicker. If you're slower paced, that is totally fine. You probably notice I get a lot slower through the workout. Instructors get tired too. <laughs> Here we go, 10 seconds left. Let's try to get one more each way. Back, middle, side, middle. Great job, here we go. Mountain climbers, one minute on the ground. Starts now, again, slow and controlled is more abdominals. Quicker pace is cardio. Whew. And you'll probably notice I'm like a turtle. I'm so dead right now, you guys. <laughs> Whew. So forgive me. If I A, don't talk as much, which you might not mind, or if I take breaks, I'm pooped. Here we go. I gotta take just a second to stretch out my back. Right back in it. 25 seconds left. Great job, you guys. Here we go. 15 seconds. Here we go, less than 10. Three, two, one, come on up. Right away, we have our reverse lunge, curtsy lunge. Left leg stays in place. Right leg comes back, middle, side, middle. Here we go. Remember, nice big steps back, chest stays up high. Great job, you guys. Here we go. You're halfway. That booty should be burning. Woo! Great job, everybody. Keep that chest high. Knee behind those toes. 10 seconds left. You got this. Don't quit now. Don't quit on me now. 
Go down to the ground, our last minute. Mountain climbers. Holy guacamole, you guys. We're doing it. Again, that nice and slow pace is gonna be more abdominals. Quick switches, cardio. Whew. Here you go. Halfway, 30 seconds left. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired, you guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, your instructor is pooped. Here we go, 10 seconds. Finish strong for 10 seconds. We got this. Five, three, two, one, rest. Oh my gosh, that round just killed me. Okay, so enough of me complaining because <laughs> I'm sure you're just as tired as me. I just like to ramble when I work out, I guess. So our next minute break is going to introduce us back into our three minute round, which again, this is not necessarily time, but based more on reps. So again, we have our 10 push-ups modified. We're doing a push-up from our knees, higher intensity, we're going from our toes. And then we're gonna switch over for our, our tricep dips. So high intensity, you're in this crab off position and dipping like this, low intensity, you're on your butt, and we're trying to tap those shoulder blades, okay? So, we got about 10 seconds here, and we're gonna just repeat that process for three minutes. So it'll be 10 push-ups, 15 dips. 10 push-ups, 15 dips. Again, I will keep you informed on where we're at with the process, but we have three minutes total of that. Okay, so let me get this set here. We're gonna start with our 10 push-ups. Who doesn't love push-ups? Great workout, really engages the core, chest, shoulders, thighs, tries, depending on your arm placement. So, we're gonna start with our push-ups here in three, two, one, begin. So we have 10 push-ups. There's five. nine and 10. All right, I'm gonna do high intensity just this first round. Low intensity, you're sitting and tapping the shoulders. Otherwise, high intensity, you're dipping. There's five. There's 10. Last one, flip it over for push-ups. All right, you're already almost a minute in. We have push-ups next. Here's five. Nine, 10. Going back to our dips. Again, high intensity. You're doing the crab walk dips, low intensity. You're with me, touching the shoulders. Here's five. Here's 10, remember to keep those elbows in. 14, 15, back over for our push-ups. You are halfway through your three minutes, so a minute and a half left. There's five. Last one, back over for our triceps. So again, forward facing, elbows are in, come all the way up. There's three, you keep going. Four, five, six. There's 10, 13, 14, 15. Again, if you can't keep pace with me, cause you're faster, more power to you. If you need just a little bit of a slowdown, that's fine. Okay, but we got 35 seconds left. 
There's five. Nine. Ten. Back to those triceps. Here we go. Let's get 15 in here. Woo! There's five. Ten. Last one. Good. Flip it over here. Oh, perfect timing. Guys, that was the end of the three minute round. Okay, so again, we have a minute rest and then we're gonna jump back into our two minute round, which is all some sort of squat variation. So again, we're gonna head back up to our standing position. Oh, sorry, it's so hot in here. If I don't keep drinking water, I may not make it to the end. <laughs> so again, two minute round is our squat variation. So to begin with, we have 30 seconds of a regular squat. So legs are about shoulder width apart, toes facing forward or to the side. And we're just gonna come up and down. So side view, we're just gonna squat up and down. Butt gets pushed back, chest stays high. Next 30 seconds is a sumo squat. So our legs are gonna come nice and wide. And same thing, we squeeze, bend down. When we come up, we really squeeze those inner thighs and our butt. Then our next 30 seconds is back to a normal squat. Left leg, last 30 seconds is normal squat right leg. So two minutes of squat variation to really just give yourself a great workout. <laughs> here we go. So we're gonna start with our normal squat here. Let me get this set, 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 set. And three, two, one. 30 seconds of a normal squat. And again, we wanna try to get those elbows to our quads or our knees, whichever is applicable. If you can't get there, that's fine. We're going to get you stronger, more mobile, and you'll get there soon. Here we go. 15 seconds left. Side view of our squat. You notice my knees are staying behind my toes. My butt is getting pushed back and I'm lowering that with my chest. Here we go. Sumo squat. Legs are nice and wide. And we squat, squeeze the thighs. Squat, squeeze the thighs. Whew. Like literally mentally check in and make sure that you are squeezing those thighs. Cause it's gonna make this sumo squat a lot harder. Here we go, less than 10. And then we go to a squat with a left leg raise. Maybe one more squat. Good, regular squat. Squat, left leg. Again, you don't have to raise your leg that high. You can just do a little baby leg lift. That's okay. This is also really gonna work on our unilateral strength. So making sure that these muscles are ready to balance. Here we go. Give me one more squat here. Good, and switch sides. So now we go squat, right leg. Last 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds of work, one minute rest, one minute of work, cool down. Great job, here we go. 15 seconds left, high wide, we're actually closer to 10. Two more, here we go, get one more in for me. If you can do another one, let's get one more in. Perfect, one minute rest. And then just like last time, we're gonna end on a one minute plank, which hopefully I can do. I'm just pooped. So again, our various plank modifications, you can plank from your knees with your upper body on your elbows. You can plank from your knees, hands in the air, plank from your toes, elbow on the mat, plank from your toes, hands in the air, just whatever you want. Just finish this minute strong with me because I know you can do it. You came this far, so why quit now? Whatever is going on in the world can wait another minute, right? So treat yourself, take care of yourself, finish yourself with this workout. I'll just give you like 10 minutes of silence so you can ignore me. <laughs> All right, I'll get my watch adjusted here and we're gonna rock and roll for one minute. Okay, 
Here we go, one minute plank, go ahead and begin. I'm gonna do knees with hands up high. So again, my butt is down. My wrists are stacked underneath my shoulders. Okay, take some pressure off there. Make sure those fingers are spread nice and wide. All right, and keep that core nice and tight. Back is in a straight line. Here we go, great job. You're 30 seconds in, 30 seconds left in today's workout and you are done, okay? Keep that core tight, think belly sucked in, like a fishing hook is through your belly button. It's pulling those muscles together for 15 more seconds. Nice full deep breaths, here we go. 10 seconds left. Here we go, we got five, three, two, one, rest. All right, great job you guys. We're gonna go into our cool down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand up. I'm just gonna lead you through literally like two minutes worth. If you want a more serious in-depth cool down, we have plenty of other videos that you can check out like foam rolling, stretching, yoga straps, things like that. So we'll go ahead and begin. We're gonna bring one arm across. All right, one arm is across. We're gonna slightly pull that muscle or pull that, push the hand towards our body. I'm literally like so tired, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Good, hold it here for three, two, one, switch. Other side. Good, if you need to walk around, that's fine. But most importantly, we'll wanna slowly bring our heart rate down. So taking nice, full, deep breaths. Hold it here for three, two, one. We're gonna stretch out our tri, so bring that arm up above, reach down the spine, push it down, holding it here for 10. Here we go, we got three, two, one, switch. Other side, reach down, whoo, and hold it here. We got five seconds, and release. We're gonna go ahead, spread those legs nice and wide, take a deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold, reach to the floor. Good, really let that neck relax. Let those arms dangle. Let's go ahead and lean to our right. Good, hold it here for three, two, one. Leaning over to our left. Good, holding it here. We have five, three, two, one. We'll take three deep breaths in, breathing in, and release, two more, and last one. All right, you guys, that is your five, four, three, two, one workout for today. I really hope you enjoyed this new style, and we will see you next time. Thanks for joining.